guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm Bri renee straight from the a and if you're not new here welcome back cousins i feel like i've been in my kitchen the last couple vlogs like it's like baby girl do you leave the kitchen so i'm getting ready to go shoot some country wayne skits with ernestine if y'all um have facebook or watch country wayne skits i'm in ernestine's storyline it's crazy Check it out. It's free to watch on Facebook. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to go do that. I'm looking kind of cute and chill. I'm about to make me a smoothie. You guys, I have been breaking out in hives still. I think what it is though, is dairy. So yesterday I had a smoothie and I put yogurt in my smoothie. My homegirl brought, um, Zoe came over and she brought me a sandwich from Publix. And I didn't have any cheese on my sandwich, but I did have mayo. And then she left half of her sandwich. Her sandwich, when she left half of it, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to eat your sandwich later on. So I ate her, her other half later on that day, later on last night, and it had cheese on it and mayo. So I think, and then in the middle of the night, like, I woke up just, like, itching. My hands were so swollen. It's kind of going down now, so you can't tell, but it was so swollen, I couldn't even, like, bend my hands. So I'm like, if it's something that I had yesterday... It's the only thing that I had yesterday that would maybe make me feel like that is dairy and or gluten. But I don't know. So, my stomach ain't hurting. You know, I'm fine other than just itching. So, whatever. I'm about to make me a smoothie today with no dairy in it. So, let's get to making it. Okay, so I already put a fruit frozen grapes in there. I'm going with some blueberries. All of this is frozen. I be washing, I be like when they have fruit like this on sale, I'll wash it and then just freeze it so it don't go bad. And then I'm gonna go in with my mixed fruit medley. Just a big chunk of that. And berries are just really good for antioxidants, so I'm just gonna put a few more of these because like raspberries in here. Because I could use that for helping me get calm these hives down. Then I'm gonna go in with my vegan protein powder. And I'm gonna put a scoop of a glutamine. This is really good for digestive system as well. And put some little bit of orange juice with mango. And then I always cut it with some water too. Boom, bam. And there we go. Put this on. Like that and it won't move that means you need more liquid so i'm gonna put some more water in there oh, no. okay hold on. Make it a miss i'm always making a miss All right, y'all, I'm here. This is actually Jeremy's house. This is, um, if y'all watching the skits, y'all know this is Ernestine's play play husband. What's that it? Okay, <laughs> but you already know, y'all probably remember him from the vlogs because he's been on tour with us doing comedy. So we just all, it's just connected. It's just all, we all around creatives. You feel? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yes, we getting ready to shoot some craziness. It's always, you know what country Wayne skits are like soap operas? If y'all missed the stories, tune in on Facebook and watch us because Steen Steen be wildin'. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
I'm pushing through. I'm pushing through. Because y'all know what I realized? I was like crying. Don't get me wrong. I was crying. So I ain't saying don't cry. I was crying. But when I was crying, I thought about it like, dang, like, dang, we go through so much pain. Like, God, why you got to make us go through so much pain? And, like, especially when you feel like you being hit from every angle. Boom, 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 boom. I thought, I thought, I thought you loved me, guy. I thought you loved me. Why would you make me go through so much pain? And you see I'm trying to do right. You see I, I just got baptized. You see I'm going to church. You see I'm doing, I'm praying. You see I'm reading the Bible. You, you see I'm doing all the things. Like. Why would you want to cause me more pain? But what I realize is every single one of us, every single person, like, who, well, first of all, you ain't no different. Everybody go through pain. Everybody got to say a story. Everybody done been through some shit. Every single one of us, right? So I was like, dang, if God will make all of us go through some stuff, maybe it's not to hurt us, but to help us. Maybe when life happened, we supposed to happen back. Like, Maybe doing that is what, like, maybe you're supposed to use that to, like, push through to the other side because had you not been so uncomfortable, you wouldn't have moved. Ooh. Had you not got that uncomfortable, you wouldn't have moved. You was too comfortable. You were too comfortable. Damn, they done confused me. I don't know where I'm going. Let me bust a U-turn. You was too comfortable. You got way too comfortable, so I had to push you and make you uncomfortable so you could move. I had to give you a little pain so you could accelerate. I had to because if if I let you stay there, you are gonna be stuck there. You gonna and that's not all I got for you. Ooh, that's not all I got for you. You gotta move. And and starting is just taking a step forward. But I realized, like, okay, if everybody's supposed to go through the pain, the pain's supposed to help us and not hurt us. Like, it's damn near a blessing. Because you ain't never prayed as hard as you prayed now. You ain't never, you ain't never pushed as hard as you pushed now. Like, use the pain as a passport to take you to where you want to go. That's what this is teaching me. That's what I, I was like, okay. Heard you. I, I, I went from taking the U-turn to pulling in a whole parking deck. Lord Hummers. Let me get let me turn around. I I just want what God wants for me. I told y'all that. I ain't about telling y'all. I told God that. When I got when I got baptized, I was like, you know what? I I'ma surrender my life to you. I want to be in alignment with what you want for me. And if that includes some painful moments, if that includes ripping the band-aid off, if that includes you snatching me up. And removing or you or you taking or you stripping me down if that require if that includes that to get to where you want me to be because maybe I got that far off maybe had I not got that far off track it wouldn't hurt that bad Ooh. maybe if you hadn't got that far off track it wouldn't hurt that bad I don't want to be off track no more I don't know about y'all I don't want to be off track no more I don't I want to be on track, God. I don't want it to hurt like that. And I think that even maybe, maybe the pain is still on track. Maybe that's what I was saying too. Maybe the pain is part of it. Like maybe you need it. Maybe I have to use that because only pain gets you to move like that. Only pain teach you like you know your mama telling you the stove hot. I right, the stove hot, but don't nothing teach your ass not to touch that motherfucking stove no more. Like getting your hand burnt. <laughs> That's a different lesson. That's a different lesson. Mm, 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 mm. So yeah, I'm just in the season of using the pain. I don't even know how I got, I don't even know what made me think. But that's, what, oh, I was talking about how I was crying too. Even in the midst of knowing that, I still was crying. <laughs> so I ain't saying that to say that you ain't gonna have feelings like your feelings ain't gonna be hurt. Where is this that she want me to meet her at? Where, is, where am I going? I'm going to have to get off the phone with y'all. I'm not on the phone with y'all. I'm not on the phone with y'all. I'm going to have to get off the phone with y'all, though. If, and call her. Because where do you want me to go? I'm going to pull over. But yeah, that's all I had to say. I'm going to go meet her. I told y'all what's on the itinerary today. Y'all seen me in the gym. And y'all saw. 
that I've been putting in that work. So I'm going back tonight. I've been, I've been finding, that's, that's my happy place too. So I say, cry, let it out, push through the pain, and find your happy place. That's what I'm doing. That's my, that's my, that's my, my recipe right now. That's how you get through it. I got to get off the phone with y'all, like I said. <laughs> I gotta get on the phone with y'all and call my cousin because I don't know where she want me to be at. And I'm at the motherfucking shit station. In the middle of the hood. Let me call y'all back. Y'all, I just left grabbing some lunch with my cousin. First of all, I'm proud of myself because I did want a margarita. Girl, I was like, why would I get a margarita when you finna go to the gym? Why play with yourself like that? You feel me? So I did not get a margarita. And I ate good. I had a grilled chicken breast, which was my protein. I'm getting my protein in. And I'm about to build my booty up. So in order to build my booty up, I need more protein. I had grilled chicken breast and collard greens. They was all right. And the side of sweet potato fries. I didn't even really eat all the sweet potato fries. It was just something else to put in my mouth. I really was trying to eat that whole chicken breast because I really couldn't even eat all of it. But... I ate most of it. But yeah, I'm proud of myself. I did good. And then I even ordered lemonade, a uh, mango lemonade, but I barely drank the mango lemonade. I just drank so much water. I'm just proud of myself for making like little, small, subtle health changes that are pushing me further and further towards my goal. And I'm grateful that I actually went to lunch with my cousin because she been trying to get me to go. You know, we've been supposed to link up for a minute, but she lives so far. And I be like, I'm good, I'm good. Like, I don't need to see the people. But people who love, like, let let people who love you be there for you. When people who love you and who genuinely care about you are trying to spend time with you or trying to come check on you, let them. Like, yes, I get it, you strong, bitch. But let somebody be there for you. And I appreciate that because it's not something that I would normally open my mouth and ask for. Like, and she said that. She was like, I know you're not going to ask. I know you ain't going to want, but I'm, come on. So, I appreciate that. So, yeah. And that's my cousin who, like, she, I don't think she ever been in the vlog. I left my camera. So, I didn't show, I didn't want to show her. Because we was having a real good conversation. But, um, she never been on the vlog before. But, I love that she not... Like, first of all, my cousin is cute as hell, okay? Cute little body, tea, everything, pretty face. The lips that bitch has been paying for, been had them lips, okay? Brown, hazel eyes, pretty light skin, long hair, all that, right? But she married now with two kids, so, and they out the way. Like, I just love that. Like, she making her money. She out the way. She ain't on social media like that. Like, she ain't outside. Oh, my, my memory card about to, about to be full. My bad, y'all. But, yeah. I just love her life for her. She is happy and married and put up and out the way and cute and just like, and just love, still love me though. And still like, you know, I'm just checking on you. I want to make sure you good. Let me make sure you good. Let me be there for you. Pull up. And I just love that. So the moral of the story is when somebody love you and they trying to check on you, let them check on you. Regardless if you think you need it or not, you do. And the fact that you got somebody doing it and want to and wanna do it, that's a blessing. So, boom. That's all I got for y'all. I'm about to run to the post office real quick. And then we headed to the gym, baby. Forehead, I said skin. Okay, so much is going on, and the last couple of days, like 
Yesterday, I, today's Saturday. First of all, let me just give y'all. Today's Saturday, the 22nd. And Friday was crazy, 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 crazy. Just so many emotions, things coming up. Um, a lot of things going on, my family. But I respect all parties involved. So I'm not here to, you know, talk shit or bash or do any of that. I'm just being honest and introspective about what I'm going through. So you all understand when I say that it's a lot of shit going on. It's like in every area, okay? Health wise, my hives are going crazy. I don't know if it's because of stress related, because you know I've been dealing with these hives for a while now, but I'm tired of dealing with them and I'm really frustrated. So uh, I've been going to the doctor, you know, well, I went to the doctor last year, got all this blood work done, stuff like that. And they said, they look like I was fine. I'm telling you I'm not, okay? <laughs> but they said, you fine. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so I'm going back on July 1st. So dealing with that. But also in the midst of that, I am trying to figure out natural ways or elim eliminate things from my diet to see if it is a cause. So I really have been eating kind of the same things over and over. What I think, what my new hypothesis, this is science. So I am hypothesizing. My new hypothesis is it might be dairy. And I know for a fact that I've always been lactose intolerant, right? And I used to break out really bad on my forehead from dairy if I had it. Then I went so long without having it because I was really intentional about clearing up my skin. I went like maybe a year or two. Let me have a seat because now we chit chat. I went like a year or two without having dairy because I was trying to clear up my skin, right? And then I slowly but surely started incorporating dairy back into my diet by... If I have a little ice cream here, a little something there, it won't matter, right? So I did all that, and when I would incorporate it back, I would get a little pimple on my skin, my face. I'm like, okay, that's the price to pay. I, I have an intolerance for it. But now I'm thinking, what if you have a little bit, little bit, little bit, and now you are, or maybe because you took a break from it, now you're allergic to it. And maybe it's coming out in your skin, on your body. Or maybe it is because of the hormones. I don't know, I'm not a... I got these glasses on, but I ain't no doctor. I don't know. I didn't go to school. I'm expecting they asses to figure this out. Where was your ass at in medical school when they was talking about hives and being allergic to shit? Help me figure out what I'm allergic to. So anyways, I'm stressed out about that because my body, I don't feel good in my body physically. I don't feel good in my body physically like right now. So I'm dealing with that stress, family shit, everything on my plate. A whole bunch of shit. But like I'm saying, it's, it's a lot going on. So yesterday, I haven't been vlogging as much this week because I'm just like really trying to recalibrate and figure myself out and figure out what my plans are, you know? And I don't want to give too much on here, but until I get through it, like I'm trying to be as transparent as I can and honest and vulnerable with you all so you know that I'm not like being flaky in this season or I'm not, you know... Going, I'm being half ass. I'm really giving it 200,000% right now with even just being consistent and trying to make sure that you get a vlog of some sort or that I'm being consistent with like connecting with you all. Not only does this feel good for me to be transparent and to document what I'm going through because I'll never forget this time in my life. Not only does this feel good for me to document it, but it feels good that knowing that people out there are going through some of the same things. And if they see me showing up, if they see me going hard, if they see me taking time to take care of myself, then they'll do that for them. Basically, it, it motivates me because it lets me know not only am I pushing through for me and I'm being consistent to the stuff that I said I wanted to do, like be like dropping vlogs weekly, but also it, it really makes me feel good that it's somebody out there that is watching this and like, dang, if she going through it, I can get through it. And if she taking time for herself, I can take time for myself. All that she going through, she still took time to pour into her. So I'm going to pour into me today. So anyways, we in this together. So basically, that meant that I didn't vlog nothing yesterday. Because yesterday was wild. Okay? Yesterday was crazy. Yesterday was wild. Like overwhelming. Like breathing a bag. Where's the life vest? Help. Help! Crazy, right? So today, I am in my solitude. 
I'm at home. It, it's, it's three o'clock already, but I slept in because I didn't get sleep last night. Bro, I woke up like every two hours. Like, I it just so much was on my mind, and I could just feel stuff, even though I'm not around. Like, energy is real. Like, I be feeling it. Like, my mind, my soul, my gut, my intuition. It don't let me rest. Like, it be, it be like. Like, God be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it be in my, I can't not hear it. So, it really kept me up all night. But I slept in till probably like uh, 11, 30, 12. I got up, I washed my hair. Can I see my family kind of bubble? I washed my hair, took a shower, did my skincare routine. I'm, I'm going to make a skincare routine video this week. I can't find my external hard drive and that's driving me. So that's why I haven't also made that video, but um, I want to make a, a skincare routine video this week because a lot of y'all have been asking about my skincare and that's the, the routine is routine and it's, it's doing what it needs to do. So I'm grateful for that. Yeah, so I'm in my pajamas. I'm in my skims. I'm around the house. I'm cleaning up. I'm organizing. I'm just decluttering my space. It's a lot of knit-knack, patty wet, give a dog a bone in this bitch. And I'm like, let's clean up. Let's clean up, clean house, get rid of, clean out. So I'm just taking today to do that. I'm listening to podcasts. Um, I'm about to make myself a smoothie because I'm getting hungry. Smoothie, protein shakes. My protein is vegan. I'm not doing dairy. Yeah, I'm trying to just pour into me right now. And this is a pivotal time. And it's about to, we're going into July. Next week is July 1st. And I feel like if I give myself 90 days of hardcore, like, Pouring in yourself, feeling you know, I'm feeling my cup up, focusing, being strategic, grinding, blinders on. I can be at a whole different place by January if I just give myself ninety days. I feel like, and then you know, it'll be another six more months left, and ninety days is three months, and six months left in a year. But if I feel like if I lock in for ninety, it'll it could really transform, and I think it'll give me the boost to just keep it going till the end of the year. So. That's where I'm at. My battery about to die. Let me charge it, and then I'm going to holler at y'all in a little bit.
Touch me, I'm far in place Speech, ain't no way Ain't no fucking way Don't call the play We ain't call the play Don't rob the bank We gon' rob the bank In they game, we gang But they're not the same We been Percocet I just got these today, and they already look like they' about to go bad. What the freak? Ugh! What the freak? Count your days, Kroger. Count your freaking days, bro. Oh, oh no! I am taking a picture. And I am sending that to Instacart because what the freak? No, bro, that's wild. That's that's just wild. At this point, I can only use this, and now bear, I gotta use that tomorrow or to now. You gotta use that to now, bitch. The fuck. I'm about to take a picture of this. Look at this. And then look at that big one. They know they lying. I know they lying. Okay, so I did end up putting some vegan cheese on half of the potato wedges. This half I left without. They're just crispy potato wedges. Ooh, hot. That's my chicken thighs. You see, my little lemons is a little burnt, but that's okay. That chicken door. So I have a nice little crisp with that butter lemon sauce. Mmm. And then I got lemon pepper asparagus. What? Bussin. This gonna be my food for the day and tomorrow. I might have a little bit of for Monday. Okay, so boom, I got my chicken. I poured the juice on the plate, of course. My aspar asparagus, I topped my potato wedges with a little bit of juice and some vegan sour cream because I'm not eating dairy. And I ain't wanna I, I just didn't want ketchup. I want this sour cream. So, a little struggling. I'm gonna have to dip them like fries. Mmm. That's actually delicious. Mm hmm. And then I got my poppy strawberry lemonade. Okay, let me taste the chicken first. Ooh. Look at that. Got some of that juice. And a little onion. I like to see that. I like to eat, you know, them onions that was up under there. They all cooked in it. What? Bussin. Mmm. That's the best chicken I've had in a minute. Damn. That's good. It's all tender. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, this is a good ass meal. Okay. I love that. Mmm. I'm gonna eat this. And then I think I'm gonna plan me some outfits to wear. And then I'm gonna chill on the couch and watch the last episode of Bridgerton. <laughs> Cheers to a Saturday well spent. That's good. Mmm. 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 If you're trying to get her song, mmm. -mm. I'm going to go ahead and tear this up real quick. I'm going to holler at y'all later. <laughs> okay, guys. So the kitchen is clean. The food is put up. I'm ready for the week. I'm about to get in bed and watch the last episode of Bridgerton because I'm going to church tomorrow and I'm getting up early. All right. I know this probably is like a short vlog, but thank y'all for watching. Thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so. If you haven't, we're not cousins. If you have subscribed, that makes us cousins. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see y'all next week. Same time, same place. You know, my world could be crashing down, baby. But I'm showing up for us. I love y'all. We getting through all our tough seasons together. Yeah. Even at your worst, 
try your best. That's all you can do. All right, I love y'all. See y'all next week. Bye. <laughs>